Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with a controversial view of Romeo and Juliet. The Controversial View series is a series in which Jason from Horrific Nightmares and I watch controversial movies together and discuss them, so you don't have to. The controversies surrounding the films could range from content within the story itself, to behind-the-scenes drama, and to anything else that could possibly make it controversial. Some will be more obvious than others. In the case of Romeo and Juliet, it only recently became controversial. Before I get into it, I just want to point out, this here is my original Paramount Home Video VHS release of the film. This tape is actually pretty rare. Released in 1968, Romeo and Juliet was not considered controversial back then. It's the classic Shakespeare tale and probably the best adaptation of it ever made. The movie stars Leonard Whiting as Romeo, and Olivia Hussey as Juliet. It was also rated PG, which is significant. That's because Romeo and Juliet features nudity. That alone is somewhat controversial, but I'll get to the big controversy surrounding it in just a minute. Being a PG-rated adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, and the classic that it is, this was the version regularly shown in classrooms. I can tell you, as a high school male, this was everything. I remember watching it in class one time, and I had already seen it. There was another guy in class whining about having to watch it. That is, until I told him what was coming. I don't think he said another word after that, waiting for that scene. Olivia Hussey is naked in this. The funny thing is, it's so fast. It's one of those blink-and-you'll-miss-it sort of scenes. I swear it felt so much longer back then, though. Regardless, she is definitely naked. And that's where the big controversy comes in. Now, before I go on, I want to make this very clear. At the time this movie was shot, laws were followed. Everything was done legally. Recently, however, the two leads have allegedly taken action against the filmmakers. This is because they were underage at the time. Now, of course, back then, permission was granted by their parents. They signed off on the nude scenes, which the leads, by the way, always said were done tastefully. Speaking of parents, Olivia Hussey's refused to let her keep taking the diet pills the filmmakers requested she take. That itself is another controversy. Now, with all of that being said, this adaptation of Romeo and Juliet is still considered a classic. A lot of people might not want to talk about what I just mentioned when it comes to minors and nude scenes. I get it. But that's exactly why Jason and I watched it and are discussing it. So, you don't have to. Of course, you definitely should see it, because this movie is fantastic. Romeo and Juliet deserves the acclaim it receives. Fun fact, it's even featured in one of my favorite episodes of The Wonder Years. It was pretty funny watching this with Jason, seeing the scenes featured in that show and hearing the music. Speaking of which, the music in this is really good. The film was shot on location in Italy, and I love the scenery. And despite how she might feel about the nude scenes now, I think Olivia Hussey will go down in history as the most iconic Juliet. It's as if she was born to play that role. When I think of Romeo and Juliet, 
This is the version that comes to mind. I know I'm not alone in that. It truly is a classic. Jason made a good point while we were watching this. The story is so ingrained in all of our minds, I think we sometimes fail to appreciate the brilliance of the twist for its time. The ending of Shakespeare's play, and the movie, is incredibly smart. Romeo and Juliet has an approximate runtime of 2 hours and 18 minutes. That's the same as Terrifier 2. Imagine that. The thing is though, and Jason agrees, Romeo and Juliet is much better paced. It absolutely does not feel that long, and it's engaging the entire time. For those reasons and more, I think Romeo and Juliet should be seen, if you can put the controversy aside. If not, well, Jason and I watched it, so you don't have to. This is just my controversial view. Be sure to check out Jason's video as well to hear his thoughts. Have you seen Romeo and Juliet? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. By the way, Jason and I are leading up to a major controversial view, so stay tuned. But until then, which controversial movie will we view next? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>